Hey everybody, Multiclass Gamer here. Welcome back to more Metroid Prime Trilogy. In the last episode, we landed here in uh, Western Washington, within somewhere around 30 miles from Seattle, somewhere, something like that. And all that other good stuff. And in this episode, I'm going to start by scanning my uh, ship here. You can actually do this to get yourself a research entry for your logbook. Underglass gunship, registered to Sam's Aaron. Oh, that's me, Aaron! Return your ship, charge energy, reload your weapons, and save progress in the game. So all good stuff. So it's like a save station, but it also reloads your, uh, your, uh, all your ammunition and stuff. Now we could go through this door up here, um, but I'm gonna do that much later. Much, 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 much later. And, uh, yeah, as you can see, unlike in the, uh, on the, on the friggin' Orphean, we can't scan the doors, the regular doors at least. There will be other types of doors we have to scan, uh, since there are different types of doors, but, uh, we can scan different types of enemies, which are, right here we have, uh, beetles. Uh, burrowing insect with a resilient carapace. Extremely aggressive. Like the pizza. Insect's massive mouth enables it to tunnel through solid rocks at high speeds, but ground beetles can cover short distances. Yeah, they're... Basically what they'll do is they'll char they'll walk up to you and then they'll charge at you. It's about, that's about it. It's about the extent of their danger. Also, we're still kind of naked. We don't have our morph ball or anything, so we can't really do much. Besides, you know, just kind of pew 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 all day, which is what I tend to do on most uh, on a good day with my thumbs. You know, playing video games. That's all I do. Cause I'm a loser. No, I'm just kidding. Not a loser, but I'm sure some people would see me that way. Last cap. Volatile chemicals within this weed's toxic funnel cap may explode if agitated. Yeah. So basically, you gotta be careful around them because you'll fire them enough they'll explode and they leave behind a poisonous gas you want to avoid inhaling. Cause uh, yeah, we know all about that. I like the smoke that that comes through here, this down here, over here, because like we're okay. So here, I got a zoomer. I think we're still to walls. Yeah. It's basically, this is like a. I believe this is actually the most basic enemy in the Metroid franchise. Um, this is probably. I think this is the first enemy you encounter in the first Metroid game. So uh, yeah, there's that, and there's also this uh, variant right here, which is kind of like the zoomer, except it's uh, more d indestructible. The gamer. You can't uh, destroy with regular shots. In fact, we can't destroy at all right now. Uh, there's also another gun. Uh, another gun. Another door up there. Can't. Uh, we can go through there once again, but we can't do much. So, we'll move on. After I scan, uh, just everything I can here. Sap sack. Yeah, these are volatile. So if you fire at them, they'll explode as well. So be careful around them. Oh, but otherwise, it's pretty much everything interesting to scan. So we're going to go through the door here, and we're going to enter a new area. This is the elevator to Chozo Ruins. Chozo Ruins is the first major area of the game, so we'll be spending quite a bit of time here uh, for several episodes, or a few. Definitely not as many as it took in the original Let's Play. I'm going to try to avoid referring to the original Blind Let's Play that often, because I know it's something that you shouldn't do. But uh, I digress. I can talk about whatever I want. Oh, what the? What? Oh, you know what? Uh, this kind of gives it away. Um, I actually kind of uh, played through uh, the stuff I did in the first episode. Like, I started the file over because uh, when I recorded the second episode originally, the commentary didn't go so well. So now I got to turn off the hint system again on screen again. Now I'm professional. So let's uh, try this again. But, well, at least you got to got a, you know, preview of what it would look like, so there you go. Oh. If I can remember my, my menus, that'd be nice. Okay, I got more of these beetles here. I'm sorry, beetles, but I didn't, I, I never listened to any of your songs yet, so I, I don't, I don't have an opinion of them, I'm sorry. Okay, I got Chozo lore here, uh, history of the Chozo... I'm pretty sure I read most of this in the blind let's play, so I don't, you know, I don't think there's any need for me to read through it again. I mean, like, there might be people playing, like, watching this who never played the Metroid Prime game, so I guess I, c I should consider doing it anyways. But I know that might annoy people who originally watched the blind let's plays and are here to see how I've progressed since then. So I might be wondering, like, how I've played through these games so many times. Well. Here's what happened. Uh, first, there was the original blind playthrough, so that's one. But then I also played through the game again, like right after the blind let's play, on the same difficulty setting to, you know, because I wanted wanted to see like how much better I could do right away. 
when I'm not playing the game blind. So there was that. And there was also the playthrough of the hard mode. And I actually did that for both Prime 1 and 2. Uh, okay, so right here we have a blast shield. Um, you need missiles in order to break through these. So we can't... So that's another dead end right there. So, uh, no luck there. But yeah, like I was saying, um... So yeah, there was the hard mode playthrough. And, uh... I, pretty much the only part of the hard mode that I had difficulty with was the uh, last boss. That's literally it. I mean, everything else was fine. I would just uh, save like pretty much all the time. Like anytime there was a save station, I'd just immediately go to it. And if I was passing a save station, I'd use it then. It's so, like any chance I got to save, I would do it. Because not only that, but that also refills your energy. That's pretty much the only difference with the hard mode playthrough, I feel like. And not only that, but also the bosses and enemies take longer to beat, so you're just sitting there longer... Um, firing away, so that's why I don't think that doing, a, you know, doing hyper mode or hard mode is necessary. Now, normal mode on on the trilogy and Metroid, and Metroid Prime 3 as well, which is where it originated. Um, Prime, or, normal mode is easy mode, veteran mode is normal mode, and uh, hyper mode is hard mode. When you're comparing it to the original Metroid releases of Metroid Prime 1 and 2. Okay, so right here we have a War Wasp hive. Yeah, we have War Wasps, which are another one, the basic enemies you'll encounter throughout Chozo Ruins. But there's actually variants of them that you're only going to get one chance to... There's like two other variants of these enemies that you have to scan, and you only get one chance to because they're part of boss fights. So, spoiler alert, yeah. But uh, right here we have a save station, so I'm going to use this real quick. I'm just going to kind of, you know, go to the bathroom real quick. <laughs> Not really. All it's really doing is just repairing Samus' suit. Not sure where the save part comes in, but whatever. Now, later, uh, here in a little bit, there will be a way to destroy these uh, wasp hives, so that way they don't come back. But, uh, yeah, I should scan these two. These are scarabs. Um, so basically, we're, the whole idea is with any Metroid game is that you're going through um, fighting bosses and getting power-ups, which will allow you to access areas you couldn't access before. That's pretty much the whole idea of Metroid gameplay, but it's so addicting. There's such an addicting nature to it. Okay, here's your area of Scarab. Another one of these swarm-type enemies, and what they do is they'll kind of... They'll, uh, scurry ahead of you, and then they'll find it an area to sit around, and if you pass them, they'll actually lunge at you, and you see you take a little bit of damage from that when that happens. Uh, so be very careful. Okay, so right here we got another War Wasp Hive. Uh, can't do much in here quite yet, but as you can see, the water down here is very toxic, and that's the main problem with Chosa Ruins, is the, that the water is toxic. Okay, what we got right here? It's kind of like a Firefly, sort of. Well, this game's equivalent of a Firefly. Uh, plasmites, well, it's uh, capable of storing and releasing thermal energy. Okay. I love how this room right here is, like, kind of angled. Kind of weird, it's like all... Yeah, it's just like kind of angled, so like you're not exactly going straight, so it's kind of an interesting uh, detail, I suppose. Tangle weeds, like, like basic sentience. Yeah, it doesn't hurt you; it just kind of slows you down a little bit. That's literally it. Uh, oh, here we go. So this is a uh, twenty, yeah, large energy. So it plants just 20, 20 units of energy. So that's interesting. These enemies will attack you, despite the fact that they, uh, light up the way for you. Oh, what do we got here? This room looks pretty suspicious. Nothing could possibly happen here. We just have a long, you know, straight path to our first, uh, pickup. Let's go get it. Ah, I was really hoping this wasn't one of those times, but oh well. So, here it is, folks. We have ourselves a boss fight. And a new scan I see over there. If we can get it real quick. Uh, nope, can't, dang it, okay. So, this is the Hive Mecha. Uh, secure unit program to work with predatory Hive Bowlers. I'll definitely read the scans for boss fights, don't you worry. A design flaw makes the shielding on it Hive Mecha weak around their access ports. These units are second generation combat drones, able to interface with the uh, organic units at a high level. They train, shelter, and work with Hive dwelling predators. Unarmed, they rely on their Hive beasts to handle any threats. Okay, so this is one of those variants of, uh, War Wasp I wanted to, that you have to scan. You only get one chance to, so we gotta scan this before we do anything else. Wait for him to stop to get a chance to, Oh, dude! There we go. <laughs> Probably much about to ram at me. By the way, ram War Wasp. Airborne Predator. Circle the spray, then strikes. War Wasps are the only species on Talon 4 evolved true hive mind. Nesting on damn dark places. Ram War Wasps emerge in small groups and threaten 
when Thran circle their enemy at high speeds, it's oriented. So basically they'll circle around you and to kind of dis disorient you, and then they'll stop and then uh, ram at you. That's, and then when that happens you have to jump to avoid getting hit. So, after, anyways, uh, with all that out of the way I'm going to focus here because I do not want to roll on this boss fight by trying to focus on talking. There we go. So you just gotta do that three times. Clear out the Ram War Wasp and then you attack the vulnerable, vulnerable spot on the on the Hive Mecha. Shit. I jumped too early there. My bad. You can also try and pea shoot in one direction. Eventually they'll run into it. That's another way to take them down faster. Otherwise you're just waiting for them to stop and then circling around to them so it gets kind of... Oh, I missed my opportunity there. There we go. Alright. Alright, just one more time. Very easy boss. Made this look a lot more difficult when I was doing this blind, but it's, what do you expect? You know, I didn't know what I was doing. It's kind of the whole idea of blind LP people. Uh, but we'll talk about that later. I will say this real quick, um, I did not do this LP just to appease people who are upset with my performance in the blind LP. Just wanted to point, put that out there real quick. Um, the specific purpose of this LP is just to show the experience I've gained over the past several years playing these games repeatedly. And I might, may or may not be doing the best job of it right now. So I'm just pea shooting, trying to get them in my line of sights. That works. Alright. Stop! There you go, thank you. Stop right when I said stop. Let's see which line. Oh. Okay. Ah, there we go. That went a lot better than the original recording. So as you can see there, um, it says High Mecha Defeated. I got an orange credit for that. So that's what that, that is. Um, it pops up whenever you defeat a boss, or you do something special. Um, there are 10 orange credits, and they're gone in scam for defeating bosses. Now, right here we have... Oh, I hate when that happens. Missile Launcher. But it's actually something interesting I want to say about the Missile Launcher here in a bit. Um, once we find something else that goes along with it. And by that, I mean the 49 other things that go along with it. Okay, Missile Launcher acquired. So we can now fire missiles by pressing down on the control pad. Just like in the... Frigate. <laughs> So now we can destroy these blast shields. Hey, I remember seeing one earlier. I wonder what will be past that other one I saw earlier. And here we have our first energy tank. There's uh, 14 of these in the game. They increase your energy by uh, 100. So, very cool. And, uh, oh, we have bigger missile pickup here. This replenishes uh, 10, I do believe? No, 5, yeah. Because the smaller one replenishes 3, so... Which is pretty much all we need at this point, because we're down to five. We started five missiles. Um, but there are missile expansions in the game that will increase your missile capacity by five. And uh, there's a total of 49 of them. And so that'll so you end up with a total of 250 by the end of the game. So uh, that's pretty cool. So so yeah, we basically got to backtrack here. It's our first instance of doing so. Unless you count the escape sequence at the Orphean, but I don't because we're going to different areas of the Orphean we didn't go through previously. Now, aiming can be a little weird in this game compared to um, the original GameCube version, for me at least. Uh, I actually, for. I know this might surprise people, but I actually found aiming to be easier in the GameCube version because it would aim directly. When you target it, it aims directly at the target for you. Whereas in this game, even when you target it, that just means that the target's in the middle of the screen, so you have to still point at the middle of the screen in order to get it. But anyways, we have a barrier here we can do, we can destroy and get another get our first uh, missile expansion. But as you can see, it's the same model. They use the same model for the missile expansion as they do the missile launcher. So does that mean that the missile launcher is technically already in Samus's gun, and you just have to? It just it was just out of missiles, so the missile launcher itself is technically the same as a missile expansion. So if you just get a regular missile expansion without before you get the missiles, that counts as you getting the missile launcher. I don't know. It's just kind of weird. Just something I wanted to point out. But uh, in here we have the map for Chosa Ruins. Let's get this. 
you actually get this pretty early on. But what's weird is that it doesn't actually reveal the entire map of Chosen Rooms, which I find kind of interesting. There's still area, secret areas that you have to find later on. Uh, secret important areas too, actually. Or maybe not. Is there? Yeah, because there's like there's more near here that you... Is it over here? I know there's like parts of the map you can't see here. I just can't. Like, I think it's somewhere around here or something. Yeah, there is. Like, past this, there's a... Ugh, jeez. Just shut up, dude. Just continue on. But that's, that's just all I want to say on that matter. Uh, now, believe it, or, believe it or not, there is a second missile expansion here, but we're not going to be able to get that quite yet. So, moving on. Continuing with the backtracking of sorts. <gasps> Scarabs! Scarabs are back! Ah! Just got to run past them. Okay, so, with the missiles, we can now destroy, as you saw earlier, the, uh, War Wasp Hive. So, that means that we can get rid of them and have them not spawn anymore. Hey, another missile expansion! Hey! But we can't get it quite yet, so, moving on. But we just can't do much until we have our missiles, or until we have other stuff, but we're gonna be getting more stuff here real soon. Ah, oh, god, Scarab's got me. Oh, well. Hey! There's an energy tank up there. Yeah, it's, it's really cool whenever you can see stuff and you think to yourself, Hey, how do I get up there? And speaking of which, I'm not supposed to go up there quite yet. I actually want to go this way. We want to go... through this door right here. Because you you were also wondering too how, what else was past here. Okay. Yeah, when you destroy the scarabs, you can get a lot of power-ups to appear, but if they're... You have to get rid of all of them if you don't want to take any damage in the process of getting the pickups, which thus negates you getting those pickups, so... That can suck. But, uh, yeah, these missile pickups will be a lot more important as we get more missile expansions. Okay, here we go. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. It's... It's... It's the hamster ball I used to have when I was little, when I had hamsters. I want it. I need it. Aww. You gotta cock block me like that game, seriously? Okay. Oh, God. That was that was cheap. You just put Beetle right next to me. Seriously? Okay, so we got a horde of Beetles to fight here, but nothing I can't handle. I'll just circle around them so that way they don't get a chance to lunge at me. Seriously, that's all you gotta do. Just circle around them, and they'll never get you. That's all you gotta do to avoid them. If only I'd known that during the the Thing! Yeah, The Thing. If I had only known that during the movie The Thing, then I could have saved all those uh, scientists from... Yeah... Thank God these enemies aren't that intelligent. I think I should have just done Hyper Mode, because, like, seriously, I can... I know my way around this game so well. Okay, what now? Oh, God! Hey, it's you! You're totally not gonna become just a regular enemy later on. You're actually a full-fledged boss, right? Right? I mean, I guess the game kind of counts as such. I think you get an orange credit for defeating this guy. Anyways, this is very simple. All you gotta do is, obviously the weak point is its butt. It's its ass, so... You gotta, uh... Yeah, aim for its butt. Nobody take that out of context! Okay, there we go. Yeah, that's all you gotta do. Just use a missile whenever it charge, after it charges at you. It's pretty easy. Oh, what? What happened there? I hit, I hit it, but it didn't fire the missile. I guess I'm weird about my person might have gone off the screen or something. What? What happened? I, I literally hit the missile button. Why didn't it work? What's going on? There we go. It worked there. That's all it takes. Two missiles. Well, oh, I didn't scan. <gasps> Damn it! I missed my opportunity to scan. Wait, did I? Maybe I didn't. Let's see if I can. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, I still got. Okay, play beetle. Yeah, it's a play beetle. Um, but yeah, I wasn't, I was, that was a joke, that I enemy, mean, that boss actually becomes a regular enemy, so you'll see it again later. Oh my god. It's my ball! My balls! <laughs> Sorry, I had to make that joke, that little gin joke. Yes, we got my balls back. More ball acquired! Love that music. Love it so much. I think the first time we heard it was in Super Metroid, actually, and it sounds really even better on the Super Nintendo, actually. So yes, I know a thing or two about Super Metroid, sorry. I don't know if I'll be doing that game blind. 
So, with the Morph Ball, we get to hear the actual music for Chozo Ruins. That's what that's the most important part. Not the fact that we have Morph Ball Ball. Not the fact that we had the Morph Ball, but because we can hear the actual Chozo Ruins theme. It's got a nice beat to it. Do, do, do. Okay, so, next time on Metroid Prime, we are going to uh, continue on and get some more power-ups. Get some more toys for our, uh, yeah, so we, toys we can play with. So, uh, see you guys then. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.